Yeah, let's go. All right, so look, y'all. As many of y'all know, man, I was in New York. Man, I, I had a great time. I really, really did. Went out there, knocked out a couple deals, uh, shopped a little bit. Um, and I even lost my wallet, y'all. So I <laughs> lost my wallet while I was out there. But you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny about that? I've just really been in a place to where I, I don't believe that things happen by happenstance, right? Like I was talking to a friend of mine uh, when I was uh, at the airport and, and we were just kind of talking about it as things are happening. I, and I really believe that all things happen exactly, exactly like they're supposed to happen. So what do I mean by that? So I remember um, I landed in New York and the first time I've ever been in New York, I, it really was like a bad experience, right? The second time I went to New York, not a good experience. This time, and I'm like, man, I lost my wallet. And I'm like, there's no way I'm in New York. I'm losing my wallet and somebody is going to really return my wallet. So day one came, day two. So I'm 48, 50 hours in and no signs of my wallet. So then I get a call. I get a text from this lady. And she goes, I have your wallet. It's in, it, I found it in the Uber that you were in. But keep in mind, I had already talked to him. And I said, oh, is my wallet in there? He's like, no, 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 your wallet's not in here. Your wallet's not in here. And I'm like, okay, cool. So that doesn't make sense because he looked, follow the story, right? He looked everywhere. And he said, your wallet is not in here, right? So then this lady finds my wallet. So the great thing about this story is that the frustrating part was I lost my wallet. But the gift in this was that the lady followed me. The lady that ended up follow, finding my wallet, not only is she interested in TLC, but it goes a step further. She's the VP of digital marketing for Sony. Imagine how all this comes together, right? I lose my wallet, I go through all this, and I'm like, I chose to have the energy. Many of you guys I talked to, I was still out having brunch. I was still enjoying my day. I didn't let the fact that I lost my wallet ruin my experience because I believe one or two things are going to happen. I was either going to get my wallet back or I was just going to do what I needed to do to replace everything in it. But I didn't allow that to affect my energy. So the lesson in that is it's not what happens to us as leaders, right? My wallet could have been gone. I could have been like, I'm not doing the training. I could have been on some other stuff. And I said, you know what? This is what happened. But this is how I'm going to choose to deal with what has happened, right? And then the blessing in that was the lady that found it was like a freaking super important person that is interested. So she's looking at my wallet and she's like, listen, I had to find you for two reasons. Number one, I wanted to give your wallet back. But number two, I said, anybody with a black card in their wallet, I want to actually meet them. This is what she told you. I swear to God. So she's going through my wallet and she sees my platinum card. She sees my black card. And she said, oh, hell no. The person with a black card has to be able, he's, he has to be on social media. So she's hitting me. She's hitting me on Instagram. But I have a lot of people in my other's box. So she's hitting me on Instagram. She hit me on LinkedIn. She hit me on my fake page. And we finally ended up connecting, y'all. So the moral of the story is that even when things seem like they're happening in a way that is not favorable, sometimes it ends up being favorable. So if that meant I had to lose my wallet and lose my mind a little bit for 24 hours for me to attract somebody that is in alignment with what I'm trying to do, then that was the CC. This is the thing. Sometimes we ask for a breakthrough, but we don't want the breakdown. Sometimes we, we want things to happen, right? But we don't want to go through the process of, so the universe heard me say, listen, I want to attract more people. This is March Madness. I want to be able to bring people that have influence but I wasn't prepared to lose my wallet in exchange for that. Somebody gonna catch that. So some of you guys may be in situations where you want this and you want that, but you're not prepared to hit rock bottom. You're not prepared to be compromised in any way. Does that make sense? So that wasn't even part of the trade, but I just, I just had to give y'all that game because that's powerful. What's going on in your life right now that's looking like a setback? What's going on in your life right now that's looking like it's unfavorable? What's happening right now in your life that has you defeated? Change the perspective. Change the way you are viewing what is happening. Shift it from this is happening to me to this is happening for me. And I guarantee you the universe will continue to work it on out for you, right? And so 
as y'all know, so many of you guys actually don't know. So I, so we have the grand opening today. I'm on my way. So I'm on my way to the win because we have the awakening. I mean, we have the uh, Eric Warrior event. So we're going to be doing the Eric Warrior event and then I'm doing the after party at the win. So I need to go over there and make sure the spot is lit. You know, $15,000 a night type spot. Only the most active, the most high vibrational people, the people that are really, you know, tuned in and connected in Vegas are going to even be able to make it to this event. But it's going to be super sexy, y'all. We're going to have an all-white party. It's going to be definitely dope. So I'm about to go. And actually, you guys are going to be able to, to view this with me. I ain't even going to go live. I'm going to let y'all see this sweet. I'm going to let y'all see it live, okay? So boom, I'm about to go do that. Then from there, we have the grand opening for All Stars out in uh, in Vegas, the car rental company. So if y'all in Vegas and y'all need a whip, hit your boy up, right? Um, shameless plug. But yeah, so we got that going. And uh, it's just it's just up and it's stuck, y'all. So what I wanted to do today is really talk to you guys about um, how to prospect. Like, like, and I want to role play. Like, I, I want to talk to you like, okay, all right, Drake, we understand the leadership part. All right, Drake, we understand you know, once a person is in, we need to get them plugged in. But, but like, what is your conversation? Like, what is the conversation that I had with the VP today? How did I take her from, thank you so much for giving me back my wallet to send me a link. And when I get off work tonight, I'm going to enroll. Like, what was that conversation when I went out there to meet my boy, Brandon, because I wanted to pick up a brand new Lamborghini and it transitioned from, you know, uh, talking about the Lamborghini to figuring out how we're going to actually strategize together. And actually when I come off, when we come off of this 1000 families tour, me and him are going to start doing workshops and doing stuff together. He has a TV show going on. So he's extended that to me to be able to come as a guest on a TV show. There's so much going on. Right. And so how does that, what, what takes a person from not knowing anything about TLC to now saying, you know what, I'm interested. You know what, send me your link. Right. And so when I'm talking to a person, let's just say I meet, let's just say I meet somebody. Um, okay, perfect. I met somebody. So the other day it was just, it's just a Jamaican wing spot out here. And there's hookah and all this stuff. So I'm out there, I'm hanging out. Some of y'all that watched my story, you know, you see this going on. It was crazy. It looked like a club. It wasn't even a club. It was just that lit, right? But I start seeing a lot of beautiful people, a lot of beautiful women in there. And I'm like, okay. You guys, so so when I start doing this, is really my thought. I'm like, man, she looked like Tammy. Man, she remind me of me. And this is a story that I'm telling myself because listen, even me, I gotta gas myself up. I gotta gas myself up. And I'm and I'm, you know, I've been in TLC for a while, and so I'm looking at people. I'm like, man, she she looked like Stormy. So I'm putting faces to it because I am changing the relationship that I have in my mind with talking to them. Because if I don't make it that real to where it's like, man, that could be my next million dollar earner, I'll talk myself out of, I'll talk myself out of talking to them. So in my mind, they're like, yeah, that's, I'm like, that's the next Kimmy. In my mind, I'm like, yeah, that's the next boss lady. So boom, so I walk up to her, I said, listen, first of all, I've seen a whole bunch of guys talking to them. So I had to set the tone right away. Like, hey, real quick, my name is Daryl. I'm not trying to talk to you. But I love the energy that y'all have at this group, like real quick, because they be trying, like, you're not about to sum me like I was trying to holler. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, listen, I'm not trying to talk to you. I love the energy that y'all have at this table, because I really did. I really, truly did. I mean, they were laughing. They were joking. Like, it was just a good energy group, right? So I said, listen, have you heard Have you heard of me at all? She said, no. I said, okay. Have you heard of Nutribirth? She said, you know what? I have. I'm going to stop right there. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Nutriburst has <laughs> Nutriburst is bigger than TLC. I ain't gonna hold you. Nutriburst is bigger than any leader. Nutriburst is bigger than Total Life Changes. Nutriburst is like, yeah, I heard Nutriburst, but what is TLC? I've heard of Nutriburst. Who's Coach Stormy? Like, I want y'all to start leveraging Nutriburst. It's huge. People, people are like, oh yeah, that bottle. I keep seeing everybody talk about it, right? And so I said, have you heard of Nutriburst? He said, yeah, I have. I said, hey, listen. You know, I'm um I'm a brand ambassador for the company, and we're actually looking to expand in the area. I actually moved down here with the intention to grow the Las Vegas market. Let me ask you a question: If I had a way for you to make an extra five hundred to a thousand dollars, would you want to hear more about it? She said, "Yeah." Keep in mind, music is blasting. It ain't the perfect situation. 
You know, she doesn't, she's not giving me her undivided attention. Some of you guys are waiting for every light to be green before you go. No, I'm just talking. Hey, listen, if I had a way right now and I'm yelling, hey, if I had a way right now for you to make 500 to a thousand dollars next week, would you want to hear about it? And she's like, yeah, cool. I'll say, hey, slide me a, uh, give me an Instagram. So now she goes to my Instagram. What does she see on my Instagram? Me educating people, me having fun, me doing this training. I posted about the training. I seen that she viewed my training. So she sees me working. So now, now I'm giving myself credibility that I could take her further than where she is. My money don't matter. People, people join based on a few things. Is it real? Can I do it? And will I get help? They want to be able to believe that not only you can make it, but you have what it takes to take them from where they are to where they want to be. And so when she goes to my page, what do you think happens? She's comfortable now. Boom. All right, Drake. So how'd you get her enrolled? So, hey, boom. So I hit her up, Jennifer. Um, it's late right now. I just want to make sure you have my information, right? I'm flying to New York tomorrow. Is it cool that if is it cool that we uh, connect at 11 o'clock tomorrow? She says, absolutely. She says, absolutely. Am I chasing her? Did I say, please, 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 just, just check the link in my bio, pretty please? No. She said, absolutely. I went to your page. I am curious. She was like, I, she, she was like, I didn't even know if the Nutriverse thing was real. She's heard about Nutriverse and was like perplexed about like if it even really works. Does people really do people buy it? Like she just didn't like, believe it or not, y'all. Just because somebody sees the brand doesn't mean they trust the brand. Just because they see you making money, don't it's it's the weirdest thing that I can't really I don't know how to explain it or communicate it to you. But you will be surprised how many times people have seen the opportunity, but nobody reached out to them personally. Person, like like yeah, I see it, but I'm not about to inbox Stormy. I'm not about to inbox y'all. Like I see it, so we have that's when the ego. We have to let the ego go and say, hey, man, I'm sorry that no one has reached out to you. That lets you know we're still growing as a company. But listen, I can get you some information right now. So boom, Jennifer, wow. So I get on the phone with her at 11. Guess what? I asked her if I can call her at 11. What time did I call her? At 11. That's another thing. That's another thing. Before a person... As a person is uh, uh, being introduced to you, they're qualifying you. Because soon as I made that connection, I already know she's scrolling down my Instagram. She's watching everything I do between now <laughs> and when we get on the phone. Trust me when I tell you. So if I tell her at 11 and I call her at 12.45, 12 o'clock, it goes, the trust just keeps like, I, I knew it. It was one of those things. So I, I try my very, very best to be impeccable with new recruits as they're coming in to be impeccable with what I say. If I say I'm going to call you at 11, I do my very, very darn best to do that. And if I can't, I'm texting you like, hey, listen, can we push it back 10 minutes? The four agreements. Exactly, Jamika. Right? So boom, 11 o'clock comes. She actually pushed it back like, like three minutes, but 11 o'clock comes um, and, and we're talking, okay? And we're talking. And so long story short, she was in another company before. She didn't really do it. She had some, you know, she brought in like five, 10 people, um, but it was just a compensation plan that really, it, it really is a company that you not, you know, it's, it's very difficult for how she was building it for her to win. So that was her experience. She was with the company about three, four months and she just stopped, right? So then I'm like, okay, well, listen, the funny thing about that is we have people over here that are able to make a thousand to $2,000, follow me, a thousand to $2,000 a month, right? Without even building a team. She said, what? She said, man, it, it's not even enough profit margin. It's not even enough spread in our products for us to just make a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, it's not even enough money in the deal for us to make that much money on a, on a product, right? You have to only make money through building a team. I can't tell you how many companies that are out there where if you're just if you're just depending on selling a product to make money, you you could forget it. It's not enough money in it, right? You buy a, you buy a hundred dollar product from a company, they they may give you you know fifteen dollars. 
There's not a lot of money in Fast Start in a lot of these companies. All right, so boom. So I'm sharing with her. Number one, I'm identifying with her. I'm saying, man, I, I understand exactly how you feel. Because remember, when you talk, when you ask the right question, they'll tell you exactly how to recruit them. So when I asked her about the company that she was with and I asked her about her experience and she told me about her upline, you know, not really reaching out to her. She told me about how she, you know, only way she can make money is by building a team. She just gave me ammunition to do what? To say, wow. I totally can identify with that. I've been in the industry 10 years. I was actually a part of a company where, you know, I, I only could make money when I built. I was actually a part of a company where if I sold a $1,500 package, I only made $75 off of that. I had to build a team. So what did that do? That just made her, that we just became relatable at that point. I feel how you felt. But this is what I found. I feel felt, found. Remember that. Feel, felt, found. So I feel how you felt, but this is what I found. What I found was that there are people over here in TLC. There are people over here in TLC that are able to make 300, 500, 200, $2,000 a week just off of retailing. And now she's like, wow. Okay, because all she's doing, by the time she looked at my page, I told her what it was. She already knew what it was. You know what I mean? Like she, it's not like I'm telling her something out of the ordinary. She kind of had an inkling of what it was. She just needed me to let her know that it was safe to believe again. She just needed me to let her know that it was safe for her to dream again. Once you join MLM, you never, it's never really out of me. You are, once you get a taste of it, once you get a thousand dollars, two thousand, it's like because you know what's possible, right? Let me switch. Let me see who else I got. Yeah, what up? What up? Who else? Who, who else? Oh, hey, yeah, no, I mean, need energy. Jamika, what's up? Needy, what up? Chrissy, what's up? Right? So, boom. Feel, felt found. Don't tell them what you want them to know. Listen, like in a relationship, like in anything, listen to what is happening. Listen to the pain points and then feel felt found. Now I'm giving you the stress. See, here's the thing. I don't just wing it. I don't just say, hey, well, let me just talk to this person. I go in with the curriculum. I know exactly what is happening. I the, <laughs> There's only a few type of people, only about 10 types of people in the whole world. You got the crazy people, you got the jokers, you got the aces, you know, you got the complainers, you got the drama queens, right? I always know what I'm dealing with, right? So when I get into it, I'm just feel, feel, foul. I understand, because I do. I feel you, but this is what I found. Shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right. Um, boom. So now she's in the business. And I haven't done this part with Jennifer yet, but it's okay. Because we're going to connect uh, tonight after the grand opening. So now that they're in the business, this is what I'm doing. I'm saying, okay, let me ask you this. I told you what was possible. I told you there's people making $200 a month. There's people making $200,000 a month. But let me ask you a question. How much money would you need to make in TLC for you to go full time? How much money would you need to make in TLC right now, this month, for you to go full time? The psychology behind what I'm asking her is how much money you need to make to leave your damn job? That's what I'm really asking. So watch this. Well, she says, okay, well, you know, I got to, you know, I pay $1,500 a month for my rent. I got a $300 car note. So I need to make at least $5,000. Uh, let's just say seven. I need to make $7,000 a month to be able to, um, oh, and if, when we go, uh, Patrick, it's going to be the villa side. 
like the uh, VIP sign. Okay. Um, so boom, $7,000, right? So then I'm asking her, I'm saying, okay, well, how many hours, how many hours do you have on a weekly basis, on a daily basis to dedicate towards hitting that goal? See, the goal is 7,000, but if I, re, if I uh, reverse engineer that, now how much of you can you give to me for me to help you make that happen? So when I'm asking the question, I'm letting her dream. Oh, $7,000 a month? Wow, what would you do with that? What would your life look like once you're at 7,000? Man, I would upgrade my car. You know, I'm at this apartment I don't really like. I get to, you know, put my kid in a different zip code. I get to have some extra money. I'm allowing her to dream again. Most people stop dreaming. So now I'm talking to her about this and I'm allowing her to imagine her life at $7,000 a month. And then I say, okay, how much time do you have towards committing to that goal? Help me help you. Well, I got, you know, five hours, 10 hours. Most people be high. They, they be like, oh, I got 35 hours. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> right? So I say, okay, perfect. So let's just say, uh-oh. So I say, okay, perfect. So let's just say you have 10 hours a week. So you have 10 hours a week. How many hours of that is a day, right? So what I'm doing is I'm dividing the time that she has and I'm dividing how much, if she wants to make $7,000 a month, how much is that per day? How much is that per week? Somebody do the math. How much is $7,000 divided by uh, uh, 29 days? Somebody do the math. $7,000 divided by 29 days. And then that's going to let me know, that's going to let her know how much she needs to be making on a daily basis. Small goals, mid goals, long-term goals. If you're failing to hit the goal of $241 a day, then I know you're going to fail to hit your weekly goal, right? Which means you're going to fail to, damn, how'd that happen? which means that you're gonna fail to hit your monthly goal. Key performance indicators, KPIs, key performance indicators. So if you're not hitting your daily goal, by day five, I'm like, yo, this your second day not hitting 241. Wow, this your 10th day not hitting 241. Maybe we need to revisit your goal. Because clearly you're not really able to commit the time that you want to commit to hit that goal. Right? But boom. So let's assume she's a superstar. She's doing exactly what she says she's going to do. So we tell, hey, two, $249, $241 a day is what you need to be consistently averaging to be able to hit your goal over or, or, or beneath, right? Another thing that I and I and I, and I kind of skipped over this, but this is this is kind of like pre-enrollment. I always say on the, on a scale of one to ten, how interested are you? Right on a scale of one to ten, how interested are you in in being a part of what we have going on? On a scale of one to ten, how interested are you with? doing uh, uh, uh with doing what we have going on and, and they'll say oh yeah maybe a seven or ten okay so ten so a one being i completely hate it don't ever call me again and a 10 is like stop talking i need to hurry up and get in this business how interested are you and they say okay a five a seven and then that is let me know how much time i need to dedicate to them because if you don't even believe at a seven or an eight, you're going to really do a third of what you believe. So if you don't even really believe, then I'm not even about to waste my time. I just park, just park on the side because they're going to try to like get me out the car. Right? So, all right. So I hope y'all got that because that, 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 that whole uh, role play 
the 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 process, the uh, KPIs, the key performance indicators. This is what I do. I'm I'm I am almost like scarily. Is that even a word, Patrick? Scarily? I don't even know if that's a word. Scary. I, scary. I'm really really good with people, and that's gonna come with with you just like continuously dealing with people. But my thing with, 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 with that I want you guys to take away from this is don't go into this thing winging it. Know exactly what you want to say. It don't matter what way they come at you. You already know you sticking to the plan. I feel you. I felt how you felt. This is what I found on a scale to one to 10. How interested are you? 10 being I'm ready to get started. And now next. TLC did a study in 2020. And what they found was that if you get a person paid in their first two weeks, there's a 73% chance they will stay six months longer. If you don't get a person paid in their first two weeks, there's a 73% chance that they will leave the business. Some stay, some don't, but it's crucial to get people paid within the first 48 hours. It could be $20, y'all. It could be $10. You know why? Because it's not about getting them rich. It's about creating their belief. It's still not real. They gave you their money. What have you given them? An opportunity? No. No, 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 no. They need to know that it's real. If you don't get them paid before they have to pay, if you don't get them paid before they have to pay, they're gone. They're going to look at that statement, that $30 that come out. Their husband going to say something. Their wife going to say something. Are you sure this thing going to work out? But you get them $20 and say, okay, there's hope. Some of y'all got people that you brought into business and they ain't been paid in, in, in weeks. And you're only keeping them in because they like you. It's only so much longer they're going to like you. And then they're going to go goddamn inactive. They're going to put you on the witness. They're going to go into witness protection, meaning that you ain't going to be on the talk. <laughs> they're going to they stop answering your call. Get these people paid, y'all. They come in, get them paid. Let me just show, let me just help you sell your first bottle of Nutriverse. As a matter of fact, get me on the phone with somebody that know, like, trust you. Get me on the phone with somebody that, that likes you, that trusts you, and let me let me sell your first product for you. That's good. Let me sell your first product for you. Now you just help them get paid. They just made twenty dollars. They're happy. They're jacked out of their mind. Get them paid in the first forty eight hours. Get them binary in the first 48 hours. How a person starts is how they're going to finish. If they come out and come out the gate kind of slow, unless something just sparks in their life, they're typically going to keep that momentum going. But if you get them in, they get binary in 48 hours, they get paid. That's an energy. They're going to keep going. Things in motion tend to stay in motion. I need to see more. Uh, uh, I need, if you I, listen, we need to start celebrating what we want more of, and and even myself. So if you guys have anybody that's going binary, I need to know. If they're going director, I need to know. If they're going executive, I need to know. We need to start selling what you celebrate duplicates. What you celebrate duplicates. Celebrate what you want to see show up more in your business. Amen. All right. So with that being said, I want all of you guys to get with your upline executive, your upline regional, your upline global, and let them know that you need banners. If, if, if Listen, let's just say you just got in, okay? and you brought in a person, that person needs a banner. I'm not going to promote that banner, but you need to because people need to see you in motion. People need to see you in motion and that person that just came in needs to feel celebrated. They need to feel recognized. 
You want a person to stay around, make them feel good. You can't get, you ain't getting a pay yet. So the least you can do is celebrate them for joining you in business. And now the next letter, the next level of leadership is when you have people getting binary. How you got people in your business going binary and you're not recognizing them. And you only executive. You need that. You need the story, y'all. So somebody coming in, they going binary, boom. Let that, that, that is, it's a party. I'm going live. I'm talking about it. Let somebody go regional. Somebody going executive, I'm picking on the phone. If I know somebody's going executive inside of my organization, I don't care who they join, I'm picking on the phone. I'm calling them. Waiting on. You're waiting for guests. Huh? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody was in here. Thank you. All righty. Okay. So celebrate everything that's happening inside of your business because what you celebrate will attract more of whatever you're celebrating. Oh, shucks. That means you need to start celebrating people selling Nutribursts because now you're going to get more people selling Nutribursts. Some of y'all, some of y'all regionals, how you getting directors and you, and you, and you not even talking to Kwanda about getting your banners made. How you got directors breaking, how you got, how, how you regional and you don't know who, who, who's going director at the level of regional. Some of y'all nationals. People that are requalified, I can't tell you. I think we had like 30 something requalified directors last week. Some of y'all's check this week is, is, is oh, I know, cause my check done double. So I know y'all check is up if you work it. So that means what? There's new people in or people requalified. Yes or yes. New people in or somebody then requalify. So that means you need to be finding out who requalified so you can re-celebrate that person. If they ain't been director in five months and they decide to go director again, boom, they back in the game. Okay? Coming in behind the wind farm. Sure. So, I need to go. What did I tell you to do? Okay. You should have told you it was with Big Drizzy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. So, um, yeah. Okay. What else am I talking about? Yeah. So, that's that. Celebrate these. Yeah. So, Kwana, go ahead and get these banners going. I want to see binary banners. I, I want to see uh, welcome banners. I want to see director banners. I want to see, I think Kimmy just hit me and said she broke two executives. Yeah, I want to see all that. I want to see director banners, executive. That means if somebody just broke executive, guess what? Guess what? That means somebody about to go regional. So we need to be, figure out who that regional, who that executive is connected to. And then we need to start getting that person's banner made. And I want you to show that person like, look, next week was waiting on you. It's waiting on you. I don't know who I did. I think I did that to my eye. I think I, it was somebody I did. I think she was almost out of rent. And then I said, I don't know. Was that you? I sent you the banner. And I, and I was like, hey, I, I would love to post this, but you know, you need to just hit the rake. But yeah, you know, so let's go, y'all. You know? Yeah. So that's it. I'm about to go, you know, make a movie because everything is a movie. Let me see. Let me look at some of y'all beautiful faces. Oh, y'all showed out today. Yeah, y'all, people got their hair done. I don't see a lot of bonnets. Okay, yeah, Alicia, what is it? Okay, yeah, all my beautiful peoples. LaDerek, I see you, boss. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, y'all, as always, this has been a fun academy. It don't stop here. Obviously, the Leadership Academy is over, but it ain't over. We back here next week, and it's just going to be the team huddle, and we're going to still be in our bag. But now I'm going to put more focus on making sure the entire team is here. I I, um, I really didn't want it to be a thing where I promised y'all it would just be the people that committed, and then, you know, I'm going live, and I'm doing all this other weird stuff. So I just wanted to give y'all those four weeks. You feel me? And now it's it's going to be, you know, open to everybody. I may be going live sometimes. I may be doing Zoom. Donald, what's up? I see you. I need to get a cut too, bro. Yeah. So yeah, man. Um, I love y'all. It's a vibe. Another one. We got another one. Let's go.